Oh boy. Hey, what's up everybody? It is a beautiful day outside. Actually, it's pretty cloudy. And um, I decided to come outside and do a quick video for you guys, man. Um, but I definitely wanted to come out here. Also, I wanted to try out shooting AK on my A1. So this video is being shot in AK30. See how long I can do this um, little interview real quick. See how many gigs it is and all that stuff. And then upload it either in AK or reduce it to 4K in the timeline. So I want to play around with that. But anyway, um, yeah, man, today I wanted to come on and talk to you guys a little bit about a question that I got on my YouTube. Now, I try to take these questions as I get them and try to relate it out to the masses and give my personal opinion on some things when I get these kind of difficult questions for a lot of photographers out there. And I pick the questions based on if I feel that people can get something from it. So this question was presented to me um, on my last one of my uh, YouTube videos not too long ago that I shot with um, a photographer by the name of Josh Cannon and I was doing a podcast by the way if you haven't went out and checked out my new podcast man make sure you go check it out because it is definitely definitely amazing underexposed podcast with your boy Brandon Cole man yo definitely go check it out man I got a lot more episodes coming for you but anyway, there was a guy that left a message on my last podcast, and he had a question about some stuff in photography. So I don't know the question by heart, so I'm gonna go ahead and read it to you, and then I'm gonna go ahead and answer the question for you, help you dissect it, and definitely take this conversation to the comments, guys, man. Let's help this guy out. But I wanna give my personal, professional opinion on how to deal with this, all right? So from what I understand, this guy was having problems with models, booking models, uh, models uh, not living up to whatever it is and trying to book them but them not showing up canceling not communicating things like that so let me go ahead and read you the question on what the actual uh, question was that he asked me all right so this question came from a guy D L Jones images um, on my YouTube channel and he says and I quote I have a question for you Brandon I have an issue where models will schedule a shoot uh, will schedule a shoot date with me, then become non-responsive. How many times have we all been through that? Um, we don't we don't work outfits, themes, sometimes not even the time because they just stop communicating. It will take four to five days to get a, a question answered. They act like the fits are a secret. So a lot of model shoots. I'm showing up blind unless I have the fits for them to wear. How do you deal with that? What advice do you have for those type of situations? Um, I think as photographers, we've all been through that where we've talked to models, tried to book with models. Um, they don't, you know, they, they don't look at it as important or they don't look at it at the same sense of urgency um, that you do as a photographer. Um, and I've noticed that before, but I've also noticed there is a difference in models who are actual models and people who are professional, all right? And I'm gonna try to break that down for you and I'm gonna try to keep this short as possible, but there's a lot to dissect in this because there is a lot of variables that I don't know because this is not my model and I haven't worked with them. But of course, I have dealt with models in the past who don't um, you know, respond when they're supposed to, who don't hit me back up after I'm trying to hit them up, things like that. All right. So, so let's take the first part. He said, Hey, I have a question. I have an issue where models schedule a shoot date with me, then become non-responsive. Let's start there. So with me and my professional opinion, looking in on this, I am going to assume that this is a TFP. For you all out there who don't know that, that is trade for print prints, which means this is just a free shoot. All right. Um, a lot of times when you book with models and there is no commitment and they it doesn't really mean a lot to them. You know, there's really no sense of urgency. That's just you trying to book a shoot with them. Then they're not going to take it as serious. You know what I'm saying? Unless you are a pretty important photographer out there you know there there's a lot of different levels to this you know and i'm not gonna sugarcoat this because somebody needs to hear this you know um there's a difference between booking with somebody like myself versus somebody who just starting off in photography a lot of times when models book with somebody who is really high in value important they're not gonna miss those shoots versus somebody who 
you know what I'm saying, it's kind of like up and coming. Like, it doesn't mean that much to them. There's not that sense of urgency there. But I'm going to assume that this is a TFP. And I am also going to assume that you reached out to them to say, hey, my name is D.L. Jones. I saw your things. Would you like to do a photo shoot with me? And they like, ha ha, Kiki, yeah, that's cool. You know, I might have some time here and there. So that's what I'm going to assume. The reason why I'm going to assume that is because normally if models reach out to you and say, hey, I love your work, the first thing they ask you, especially if you have the work to back it up, the first thing they're gonna ask you is how much do you charge? That's what it is. And a lot of times when they either pay for their photo shoots up front or pay for a deposit, however you have that worked out, they're not gonna miss those shoots. And they're not going to not respond because that uh, uh that uh deposit is non-refundable. You know, that's my time. That's me booking a, that time slot that I could have booked with somebody else, but you chose to miss it. Um, so uh yeah, that 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 deposit is not refundable. So you gotta remember there's levels to this. You know, people are gonna respond because they have a commitment. You know, people really don't, if they don't have that sense of urgency, if they're not professional, if they really don't care about model, modeling like that, they're not trying to work on a portfolio, they're not trying to get discovered, they don't have the commitment or the sense of urgency to actually want to do a photo shoot. So that's, that's all of that in that one question. So again, I don't know the variables with this. I don't know who reached out to who or whatever. I can just say from my personal opinion, that that's the reason why a lot of models either become non-responsive or don't do what they're supposed to do, all right? Um, second part of this, we don't work out outfits, themes, sometimes not even the time because they just stop communicating. <clears throat> a model who just stopped communicating, you need to just stop communicating with them, all right? You don't want somebody who you're just, I don't care how they look. And I know a lot of you photographers out there, man, you will get on a lot of these models' nerves. Hey, I wanna do a shoot. Hey, I haven't heard from you. Hey, can we do a shoot? Hey, can we do this? Hey, you mind, you got time for a photo shoot? Listen, leave them alone. If they don't have the decency and the urgency to hit you back, um, then leave them alone. You can reach out once, you know, a few more weeks, maybe reach out again, but don't keep sending them messages, man. It's not important to you. I mean, it's not important to them. So you need to stop wasting your time with them, all right? This is this is a back and forth thing, you know what I'm saying? And you, obviously they don't care about their craft. They, they don't care, you know, it's not that important to them. You know, you can say that, hey, you know, life happens and stuff, people go through stuff. Yeah, I get that, we all, we all know that, all right? But people who don't do any of that, y'all not working out outfits, y'all don't even have a time where you're gonna shoot, location, a theme, nothing like that. It's not worth it. Leave them alone. Move on, man. Find a model, find somebody who actually cares about modeling, who wants to model, who, who loves to model, somebody who has that, the same way you feel about photography is the same type of, same way mo real models is the same way real models care about modeling. Those are the people that you need to find and connect with, all right? These other ones, leave them alone, all right? And I don't care who you share this video with. I'm gonna say, I right, keep it real. Leave them alone, let, let them go, all right? So, moving right along. I'm not gonna be the dead horse with that one, all right? So, moving right along. It will take four to five days to get a question answered. They act like the fits are a secret. Again, this is pretty much the same thing. Leave them alone. They don't care. They don't. It's not important to them. They don't have a sense of urgency. Um, they don't know. You know, you own somebody else's time. And we have to schedule these things. We want to get out there. We want to shoot. We want to practice. You want to do all those things. Listen, leave them alone. All right. Um, I got this thing. Anybody that I coordinate a photo shoot with, there's a lot that, and you can ask any of my models. There's a lot we go through before we actually do a photo shoot. We talk about the theme, we talk about outfits, we send pictures, we talk about location. All of my photo shoots have to make sense, all right? I'm really big on themes and making sure that all of these things work together because all of these things also determine how I pose you, where I shoot you, where are we gonna shoot at, what you're gonna wear. These things all, all tie in with each other. That's super, super, super important, man. So don't waste your time with that. So a lot of my model shoots, I'm showing up blind be unless I have the fits for them to wear. If you haven't coordinated the thing, the time, 
the outfits. Why are you showing up in the first place? How did you guys get to the part where you're gonna do the location and you know where you're shooting, but you don't know anything about it? That, see, something like that to me tells me that you are not controlling the photo shoot. You are the creative director. So it is extremely important for you to get all this information, to have it in stone. So when you show up to a photo shoot, you're not fumbling. You're not thinking about what you're gonna do because you're seeing outfits and things at the last minute. You're looking at a location at the last minute. We don't, photographers, we don't work on last minute. I don't work on last minute. I need to know before we get to the photo shoot. I need to know what I'm getting myself into. I need to get my mindset ready on what type of shoot I wanna do. If, it, or if we have decided on something elegant, I need to get my mind and my po posing ready for an elegant photo shoot, all right? You can't come to my photo shoots like that. So, but I control that. So as a photographer, you need to control that, all right? Don't let people just come to a photo shoot any way they want to. That's not how this works. Control your photo shoot, man. Control your photo shoot. If you haven't heard anything, then don't show up. Hey, if they reach out to you and say, hey, are we still good for this, 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 and this? No, we're not. I didn't hear back from you. I don't know the theme. I don't know anything about outfits. That's not how I work. When you are ready to coordinate a, uh, a photo shoot with me, then you can hit me back up. But until we actually coordinate something and put something in stone, I'm not about to, I'm not doing this. That's not how this works. So moral of this story, man, control your photo shoot and control all the narratives that go into it. Narratives, I mean, what's, who is the model? What's she wearing? Where are you shooting? You want to know everything before you get to a photo shoot. Now, I'm not saying that when you get, I'm not saying that you need to have, you're not going to have everything down. You know, when you get to a photo shoot, there's always going to be something, especially if you get a model, especially if you get a model who is on point, she's giving you a lot. You might have to change some things up, but the basics of coordinating a photo shoot does not change. You know, you know who the model is, what she's wearing, um, what is the theme, if there is one, where you guys are shooting at. Like these things need to be in stone before you even get to a photo shoot. And then when you get there, you can tinker and, and plant like all you want to. But, it, but what you're doing is you need to set your mind and your mentality up for the type of shoot that you're going to do. So you will always be in, all, already be in that state of mind. And that is extremely important. That's how I do my photo shoots. That's how I live, you know? And it's important for you guys to do that too. So don't let, don't let, just because you want to get out there and shoot, don't let models just do what they want to do. If they don't have the time for you, then you need to move on, man. All right? I don't care what they look like or whatever. Let them deal with somebody else. You know, you, your, your business and your passion and what you have going on is too important to just be out here just doing anything just because you want to shoot with somebody, all right? You need to maintain a standard um, in this industry, all right? And models need to understand that, all right? So I hope that helps you, man. Um, definitely a big shout out to you. And um, yeah, man, make sure you guys take this to the comments, man. Help this brother out, man. Um, but I just think that's uh, extremely important, man. If you guys have any questions out there, definitely um, hit me up. And again, guys, also remember, we are on a road to 100,000 subscribers on this channel, man. Remember, we ain't got no sponsors. Everything that we do here is because of you guys and me. We have been doing this by ourselves for a while now, and I love the growth. I love everybody um, and what you guys are bringing, and that's why I continue to incorporate so many different things on this channel of photography because I want you guys to be able to come here and get a little bit of everything. We got a podcast going on now. We got reviews. We got on location photo shoots we got studio photo shoots man where else are you gonna get this much excitement and entertainment in anybody's photography channel this is what we do man and we having a good time and guess what i got so many things coming up it's gonna it's gonna blow your mind all right but i want you guys to stay tuned man continue to rock with me continue to have fun continue to help each other out build each other up man because this is all we got man we got a small community we're going to continue i am going to continue to help i am going to continue to push 
and inspire those who are coming up, man. All right. Until next time, it is your boy, Brandon. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell so you will see all the notifications because you don't know when I'm coming out with something. I've been dropping like crazy. All right. And I'm going to continue doing that for you. It is your boy. I holla.